is stretch. So stretching, there are various lots and lots and thousands of kinds of stretching that you can do. But basically, you stretch, stretch, trying to you know stretch every joint that you have. And I'm doing every nail, stretch, stretch, ankle, my wrist here, yeah. wrist, wrist, I'm just doing stretch, my wrist, my wrist, my bones are cracking. I do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I do this, I can do this, 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 down, back up, and you can push, sit your head back, and shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All this that I'm doing, my bones are cracking, I can feel them inside. I can have my hands this way. And then I do this, I do this, I do this. I'm still stretching. I can stretch the shoulder bones, the shoulder joints, and I stretch the other arm. And I can do this. All this I'm doing is stretching, stretching, stretching. So by the time you go into the workout proper, you will not overstretch those muscles and those joints and get injured. I also that upper body stretching. I also can stretch my lower body and do this. Do this, you know. I can even go as fast. I can even go as fast, stretching this way, stretching this way. I can do this, both hands. I can do this, both hands. You know, I also can do this. Open my legs slightly wide, and I sit on the right leg. Get back and sit on the left leg. I'm also stretching, absolutely. On the right leg and then on the left leg. You know, I still can add a few techniques if I want to. And all I'm doing is I'm just basically I'm stretch, I'm doing stretch. You know. So if you're doing personal workout, you don't need any push or maybe you have a uh, personal trainer available, you can repeat these things that I just did now. But the number of reps that you do then is what is important you can do these things for four minutes do these things for five minutes by the time you're done with this three four five minutes you're already warming up on the inside already so that's warm up for us after warm up the next you can do next after stretch what you do next will be your uh, proper workout which could not be the uh, either jump rope if you have treadmill use your treadmill if you don't have treadmill you can use your jump rope um, a lot of us can skip from our private school, primary school, secondary schools, our uh, youth age. We, you know, we must, one way or the other, have gotten used to skipping. And mind you, skipping, there is no professional at that. You don't necessarily have to be a pro at it. But as much as you're lifting, you're falling, you're lifting, you're falling, you can miss as many times as you want to. Maybe you're able to do five before you step on the road, shake it off and then take it again. Don't get frustrated because you are only able to do six before you miss. No, it's okay to miss. If you miss, stretch it off, stretch the rope, and then start again. You know, if you miss, you stretch it off, you get to start again. What is important is not the fact that you continue, but you miss, you stop, you start again. You miss, you stop, you start again. All these stress that are doing, your body calories, you want to know the entire body system from the inside. So the lift, lift, lift that you're doing, your burning calories before before five seven minutes you see that you start sweating out from the inside your body will start getting hot and you start um, feeling hot and you start sweating out and then you you'll be burning as much calories as you need to do so after the jump rope which is the proper um, workout if there's no jump rope you also can pick the option of running which is normal jogging you know after your warm-up you jog your your stretch right your stretch then you jog if you're not jogging, you can use your jump rope as a primary So after the jump rope, then you can now move to other activities um, that could help with your uh, burning belly fat, which is abdominals. You can do the push-ups, not necessarily because you want to have big chest, but maybe because you just want to tone your arms. Some who got fat buying dumbbell to use for their jogging. Even ladies, guys, you know, it's okay. But even without buying any of this equipment, just your jump rope and your trainers, the comfortable trainers, you can do the magic. So you can do push up to tone your arms. 
you know some ladies some people you see their arms having extra fat so if you're doing push-ups my you don't necessarily have to do 50 push-ups five you, you rest five again you rest so maybe five 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 into four times you are done with that for that day as far as you do it in your next class you do it tomorrow again it's beautiful don't push yourself like i need it back because i can't do 150 push-ups then push-up is not my thing no nobody brought any of this thing from heaven we all come to learn them and get used to them so after jump rope you're already sweating hard and you want to do other activities these other activities you want to add mountain climbers mountain climbers is basically going down with your hands this way like you're squatting going down with your hands this way and push your legs back come back up arms down your squat position arms down push yourself back so now you can see the side view arms down push yourself back on a plank position then back up arms down push yourself back plank position back up this is what this so you can do 10 10 10 5 times i guess you you burn you burn calories from the inside you sweat so that's what this after burpees, you can do mountain climbers as well. Mountain climbers is from your push up position. Have one foot forward. It could be your right, it could be your left, anyone you're comfortable with. Have one foot forward and then you shuffle. You change, you change the foot. You change the foot like you're riding your bicycle. This is called mountain climbers. Right? This is mountain climbers. So you go, you go, you go, you go. You can have your time. Maybe 30 seconds, you have a short break. You rest.